Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to start a series of math scholarship exam tutorials for standard 5. So let's begin. Scholarship exam for standard 5 subject maths. Unit 6 Geometry Topic number 27 Angles and Types of Angles Exercise 27 Let's begin with the first question Which type of angle is formed between the hands of the clock at 3 hours 25 minutes? Options are Acute angle Right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle. Here we have the clock. Our hand is at three. Minute hand, twenty-five minutes. So your angle is formed. It is acute angle. The first option, acute angle, is the correct answer. Question number two Which type of angle is formed between the hands of a clock at 3 hours 45 minutes? First option, acute angle, second right angle, third obtuse angle, and fourth straight angle. Here we have the clock again. Our hand, three hours, minute hand, 45 minutes. Third option is correct answer. Question number three Which type of angle is formed between the hands of a clock at nine o'clock? Acute angle. Right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle. Here we have clock. Here is minute hand, upper hand, and it forms 90 degree angle. So, the right angle, second option, is the correct answer. Question number four. Which of the following figure is of an obtuse angle? First figure, second figure, third figure, fourth figure. If you see first and fourth figure, both are acute angle. Second figure is 90 degree, which is the right angle. So Option number three, third figure is obtuse angle, which is right answer. Question number five, which of the angle is formed between the adjacent fingers, adjacent fingers, other than thumb of an expanded hand? Acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, either acute angle or obtuse angle. Angle formed by the ring finger and little finger is acute angle. Middle finger and ring finger again acute angle. Angle between index finger and middle finger is 
equilateral right angle. This first option equilateral right angle is the correct answer. Question number six: How many angles are there in the figure? This figure has four arms. First option is three angles, four angles. Question number seven: How many angles are there in the figure? Here we have five arms, twelve angles, ten angles, nine angles, or eight angles. Here is again explanation. We have first angle, second, third, fourth, fifth. Which is the biggest angle? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten. Second, sorry, second option. Ten angles are correct. What type of angle is made between the hands of a claw when the upper hand is between six and seven and the minute hand? Is on five. First option, right foot angle. Second, right angle. Third, obtuse angle. And fourth, straight angle. Here we have a clock. Our hand between six and seven. Minute hand is on five. First option is the correct answer. Question number nine: What is the angle made between stretched thumb and index finger? Here we have stretched thumb and index finger. Options: acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle. So the angle which is formed, it's a obtuse angle. Third option is the correct answer. Question number ten. In the figure quadrilateral, ABCD is divided into two triangles. By drawing the diagonal AC, every triangle has three angles. How many angles are there in the given figure? So here, quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Options are four angles, six angles, eight angles, ten angles. Here is the explanation. Two triangles are joined together. We see triangle ADC. Here angle D is first angle. Angle DAC second. Angle DCA third. Now this triangle ABC. Angle CAB is fourth. Is five. B C A six. Now angle D A B seventh. And angle D C B 
eight angle. So altogether, we have eight angles in this quadrilateral ABCD. Third option is the right answer.